Hello and welcome back to another episode of Wasteland 3. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on Supreme Jerk difficulty. It is episode 33 to death and we're getting only stronger at this point. And uh, today we are doing Elf on a Shelf, uh, which is yet another radio call, distress call that we have uh, found where we need to go into Santa's workshop. So dashing, uh, dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. Uh, over the fields we go, laughing all the way. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's rock. Okay, so what is our job here? Elf on a shelf. Time to investigate Santa's operation and locate the distressed elf who called us. Let's find out if uh, Santa should be on our naughty list. Well, that is so good. We could certainly get a new reindeer here. Now I'm wondering, uh, reindeers. So the dog gives us uh, combat speed, which isn't bad. Looks a good doggy. All right, you stay here for now. And Tamed animal, what are they offering? Detection time, yeah, no. Are you telling me we can't recharm? Well, in that case, I suppose Having detection time is better than nothing. Bit of liquor. And let's have a very special Christmas party, shall we? Sugar Plum Mary. What are you guys doing? Here? Why does Santa have a uh, uh, LMG on his back? We're investing a distress well, call. That's quite strange. No one here is in distress. Why don't you have a look around? You'll see that everything is fine. Just fine. Rangers, I'm glad you came. Mary, is this a sanction break? Or am I going to have to give you your daily candy? This uh, smells like trouble. Got a couple of robots, so Quan is staying next to them so that we can take uh, them over. Good. So, what's your story? Do I hear whining from one of my elves? We located uh, Sugar Plum Mary. She suggests we trick Santa into the kitchen so she can talk to us. He loves cookies. All right, well, that's a good little start. Level 10 lock picking. Oh, my lord. Hello again. <laughs> my I smell cookies. Oh, I love a good cookie. The uh, pecan chocolate chip or salted caramel crunch or oh, a minty chocolate chip. Ew. Let me have a look at what's baking and I'll be right back. Be sure to bundle up. up. We really cold baking. outside. My Where are they? Where are those cookies? I'll Okay, what else do we have? Lock picking, lots of elves. Ramos has lock picking, so. Why is there a spike growler out there? Jingle all the way. Santa's naughty list currently active processing. Uh, 
You pull a few panels, locate the antenna, and sends a signal uh, to and from the elves. Computer recognizes system failure and promptly shuts down. My naughty lid! You freed my fucking elves! Why are they getting... Why are they getting the first hit? Holy, what is even happening? Santa gives himself, oh, Santa has 4,000 hit points. That is quite something. And Murphy just got downed as well. Oh, we're taking a lot of damage. Okay, cool. Or not so cool. Marshall moves to central, heals him, then takes over this robot. Apparently has one shot central. And then sprints over to Murphy to heal him as well. Central doesn't have enough AP uh, to get going, which is the perfect time where Hogbite is giving everybody AP. That allows Central to also go. Cool. Well, Murphy doesn't feel very well, but it's the best that he can do at the moment. And uh, Ramos certainly does not like what he's seeing. That would be so good, but unfortunately so unethical and not correct. Ramos moves up, heals himself, because I don't want him to just go down. And we're following up with Krampus, which is good so far. Hawkbite heals himself. Picks out the anti-robot weapon. And begins to hit out of range. to hit this guy oh we shot Murphy that's not cool shocked is not great minus two action points going forward not the end of the world for Murphy but still not cool we gotta work with what we have um, Lucia moves here. I want to just get these guys out of the way for now. Took them out very nicely. And we're going to take cover from Mr. Naughty. Let's try to hit the CPU. That was good hits, but unfortunately did not turn the guy around. Juan positions himself a bit further away so that we don't take AOE damage. No, 
Well, if he heals himself, and it's just going to defend so that he's not the main aggressor. Oh wow, this Krampus guy is dealing a lot of damage. Are you kidding me? Damage is unreal. No! All right, Quan charges up, heals. Should have just charged, then taken the free shot, and then it would be good. Put this here out here because that could help us. Ramos stays in the battle. Not great, but the best we can do for now. Sometimes there are no really fabulous options. There are only mediocre options. But I can tell you Santa is gonna eat the end of my stick. There you go, stunned bitch nice little uh, electroshock which will take Krampus's AP away you see a mad packs Murphy Tries to hit this guy. We're going to do a little trick shot maneuver. Great hit. Since we have uh, everything currently loaded, the neuron projector. Hmm. Tell you what. Krampus would be a good target for takeover. Hit, but not a crit. Couple more shots on Krampus, just for good measure. It's okay. work out unfortunate continuing to focus very good so central is the only one remaining again we're rallying everyone That will hit our paddy pal, but I don't care. The rest at least gets punctured. Central got a kill. That frees up three AP. And Central is just going to unload on this little thing. Multi kill. All right. Well, if he takes a couple of snapshots, well, it's okay. Not much loss here. Slowly but surely, we're starting to have it under control. What? Worst ball. Problem is, uh, these robots both are no longer with us now.
Good. All right. We need to get central back. Seven, nine, how much does that cost? Two. Hmm. Out of curiosity. So seven to here. We can take over one of uh, these guys. Quan charges. Super far. It's that stupid worst of all. And make sure that we are keeping that other guy. Okay, in the meantime, Lucia gets up uh, central. Nice little healing. Central isn't feeling that well. Ramos takes out Krampus, hopefully. Oh, that would sacrifice half of the elves, can't justify that. Yeah, the problem is innocent bystanders and my conscious, uh, conscience. He has a lot of options, but none of them work uh, when you don't want to kill anyone else. That's the kill we've been waiting for. Uh, Murphy has a nice little crit chance. We're moving to here. Hog bite. Gets center to be shocked. And that is not bad. And then it's a question of uh, hitting him and hitting him well. Hoppat has more defense if he's staying with his other weapon, but I think we're damaging uh, his armor. That's exactly what will hurt him the most. Good. Hoppat is doing very well for himself. Lucia moves up, takes a shot. First of all, CPU would take him over, but I'd rather take the chance on the turret. Go back into cover and central goes into cover as well. Just don't want to be hit effectively. And we're doing very well. <laughs> Gives us a snowball. Okay. Well, center, I re regret to inform you that that's not enough. Well, apparently it is absolutely enough. We're just getting manhandled at the moment. He gives us a nice little bitch slap. That's what Center does.
All right, Quan, my dude. Why can't we? Why can't we just get here? Quan, revive. Yeah. Why can't we target him? Oh, there we go. We had it for a second. Yep. Need to target his toe. And Hogbite is fully healed. That's good. Quan on the other hand. Is moving to here. Like a little bitch. I wish these guys would just move away. They are unfortunately not. Nah, not worth it. Not even that is worth it. Well, if he moves to here and creates an ambush. And I tell you what, Santa, my dude. We're continuing to just slash you. Good, free reload. Worst the ball. Get his plating down. And there is the mega crit we were hoping for. The mega crit that we were uh, begging for but never dared to hope it would happen. Good. Get his arms. Santa is crippled. And Santa takes a couple of extra shots. I like that. Good hit. Unfortunately, Santa is still in the mix. kind of the robot to just move up here but that's good because Quan can recharm him mechanical is a great little skill and this here would just require nerd stuff three maybe something to consider as well it's just three skill points and it gives you that skill and there are a lot of robots around <laughs> fucking Santa but, what about us? get out of here you crazy kids you're free oh All right, Santa, what a crazy son of a gun. Uh, what I was about to say is the, the ability to hack robots. If you only need three um, in nerd stuff, that is easy. That is very, very easy. 
and a lot of the robots seem to easily be hackable with three or less so point being for those who are a little bit uh, further up uh, mm, central not because he needs explosives for more damage but um, once Lucia is done with kiss ass I think we could give her that robot hacking as well uh, for him it wouldn't be bad either just three points in it because here's the deal uh, it's effectively killing one of the robots and it's uh, mm, uh, it's even taking them on your side and you don't need to kill it so it saves a lot of ammunition um, and deals a lot of damage effective damage that is so speed was fine it's a question of do we want more awareness uh, with Quan or more strength I think we could get a little bit more strength uh, also for heavier armor for him And next up, the nerd stuff, uh, get that to level 10 overall, certainly be helpful. We wanted to have the Hippocritic Oak, uh, Oath. And yeah, wow, very good, so center was on the very naughty list. Ho, ho, ho. Center outfit plus... I want, wanted his machine gun. Unfortunately, that is not happening, apparently. Commando helmet. Oh, that's a good one. We have one already. Level one shotgun, not really. BB gun ammunition. Santa's little drug stash. Uh, that's exactly what I was thinking. I would love to get another book, but Santa apparently doesn't have books. More drugs. Way more drugs. Okay. Cool. Well, we still know that there's a spy growler back there. And we have several of our colleagues that are down. So what I will do is I'll save us the money. Oh yeah, there are multiple enemies out there. I'll save us the money um, and go back to town and then clear the rest out uh, so that we uh, we can uh, close up this area. I'll showcase anything that we would find. All right, so let's wrap the episode up. I went through all of it and uh, there are a couple of uh, findings that we have gotten. Uh, for starters, we uh, were able to complete our Chemtech armor. Uh, the Chemtech legs were there, so Lucia is now wearing a full suit of Chemtech armor, which is pretty cool. Uh, we also got a few uh, more just general items for crafting, as well as a few high-level uh, armor sets. Haven't found kind of an ultra weapon or anything, just overall decent loot. And we now need to really go back to the base uh, and clean everything up. Uh, plenty of uh, loot, specifically uh, weapon modifications, theoretically uh, available. And to unravel the storyline, Santa indeed was a really, really, really bad guy. Uh, he had a full stack of uh, corpses here. Uh, and he was basically hanging uh, a couple of others all by this Christmas decoration where uh, he... 
yeah, where he detached limbs from them and just placed them onto those poles. So the opposite of a friendly uh, center, he was pretty much the naughtiest boy around. So the world is a better place without one less lunatic. But I think uh, this game in particular seems to have the uh, capabilities of breeding those lunatics over and over with a very nice uh, kind of uh, Christmassy uh, theme. I would uh, ask you to click that like button or uh, you are getting on Santa's naughty list and I don't want to guarantee what's happening throughout the end of the year to you. Anyways, that's all I get for today. Thank you for watching. See you later and bye bye.